Just to be clear before we start off this review, Zombie Hunters was released twice on the PlayStation 2. First in 2005 as Zombie Zone, and then again in 2007 as Zombie Hunters, which added some new playable characters. But do be warned, they are still the same game. Anyway, Zombie Hunters, a game developed by Tamsoft, and would kick off their Onichambara series. Zombie Hunters takes place in a world that's overrun by, of course, you guessed it, zombies. And then there's you who has to kill them all. You'll be able to play as one of two women dressed in bikinis and cowboy hats, wielding katanas and ready to kick names and take ass. The game is your traditional hack and slash. You go through the linear levels and hack away at the tons of mindless zombies that this game will constantly throw at you. I'm not joking, each level is just littered with corpses that spring back to life as you tread past them. The game has the wonderful cliche walls that appear to let you know that you have to defeat all the enemies in the area before you can progress. And trust me when I say that this becomes tiring extremely fast. The combat in the game is a mixed bag. The animations and moves you can pull off look really cool and you can slice limbs off the zombies. Blood flies everywhere, gets on your katana and you gotta clean it often otherwise it can get stuck in the gut of a zombie. This adds some really unique depth to the game and you have your traditional special moves that deliver more damage. But then after 5 minutes of playing you'll get hit by all the problems at once. The camera is an enemy in this game, always being a pain, you'll be babysitting that whilst trying to fend off a horde of zombies and it just loses the fun. Controls and moves could have been more finely tuned as well, offering for some more counters and faster manoeuvres, made turning your character not feel like moving a tank, or simply just add more style and charisma to the movement. Your katana is also surprisingly pretty pathetic, and it's made much clearer on later levels, where zombies will take forever to die. Sound and music is nothing special, but I don't think you're really expecting it to be. You have your standard dance tunes in the background, and typical katana slice sound effects and zombie grunts to bring a little energy to the battles, but nothing memorable. Zombie Hunters or Zombie Zone, whichever one you're looking to play, is a really interesting idea on paper. The series has tons of possibilities. But for this first instalment that they felt needed to be released twice under two names, they failed miserably on making an impact. The combat just wasn't up to scratch compared to other hack and slashers. The levels were forgettable, and while this was a little before zombies would become a mainstream enemy type, but they felt tiresome in this game alone. Zombie Hunters gets a final score from me of a passable 54%. It's a 5 minute bit of fun if you like this kind of stuff. 